At the beginning of this part, we see the president of the Awakened Association standing in his office, shocked by what he has just heard. An invasion? He asks, his face pale with disbelief. Yes, Jin Hyu confirms calmly. In a week at the soonest, a powerful being from the Tower of Trials will invade this place. His tone is steady, conveying the gravity of the situation. The president rubs his forehead, looking worn and uncertain. This is all so sudden. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say. His skepticism is clear, though he respects Jin Hyuk's reputation. I'm sorry, Player Kong Jin Hyuk, but even if it's coming from you, we need proof to mobilize the entire world. Jin Hyuk nods, his gaze firm. All good. I'll prepare something then. News breaks out soon after, with headlines covering the alarming prophecy of a mysterious figure, hailed as the 21st century's greatest prophet. This man, known only as Takashi, appears before crowds, raising his hands and exclaiming, Oh, goodness. I have seen it once more. A clear vision. He shouts, his voice echoing. In one week, an outbreak will occur in Seoul. Humanity is about to enter a new era. Jin Hyuk, watching the broadcast, thinks to himself, Takashi, my subordinate in the Samurai Guild, is doing his part well? After the Medusa raid, Jin Hyuk had given Takashi instructions to enhance his influence by using his Hemi Foresight ability to deliver these staged prophecies. They had since gathered a large following, turning Takashi into a cult figure practically overnight. As he preaches, Takashi marvels to himself, I am the chosen one. Across guilds worldwide, Takashi's reputation spreads quickly. The Samurai Guild moves first to mobilize, fully trusting in his prophetic abilities. Guilds like Olympus, Zhonghua, and Titan follow suit, preparing for the foretold disaster. Amidst this rising tension, Chun Yusung corners Jin Hyuk, suspicion in his voice. You're making quite the big deal out of this, Kong Jin Hyuk. What exactly are you plotting? If this is some kind of prank, Jin Hyuk cuts him off, his tone serious. This isn't a prank, Yu Sung. He hands Chun a thick file. I need you to command the guild members when I'm gone. Inside this file is everything I know about the outbreak. Memorize it. Chun Yu Sung studies him, still skeptical but a bit rattled. Fine, but what are you going to do? You're not planning to hoard all the profit again, are you? Jin Hyuk gives a slight smirk. I'm going to find a way to prevent the disaster. If there's an opportunity for profit along the way, I'll take it. He starts to leave, and Chun calls after him, glancing toward a pillar in the shadows. You can come out now, Teresa. He's gone. With a shy smile, Teresa steps from behind the pillar, a mix of embarrassment and relief on her face. Chun sighs. How long are you going to keep avoiding him? She shrugs, a soft smile on her lips. Just a little while longer. Until he starts to miss me. Later, at Rick Hennessy's Great Magic Library, Rick is caught off guard as Jin Hyuk places the Yaksha equipment set before him. What? The whole set? And without haggling? Rick raises an eyebrow. That's unlike you. Jin Hyuk hands over a list and says, You'll get the set. I just need you to get me these items in return. Curious, Rick reads over the list. Why this particular list? But Jin Hyuk has already activated the Shadow Gate, a portal forming in front of him. The portal opens to connect to the high floor manager's domain, and Jin Hyuk steps through, giving Rick a last look. Any more questions? He asks, stepping into the unknown. As Jin Hyuk emerges from the portal, he finds himself in the high floor manager Vendivia's region a place shrouded in mysterious, dim light. Standing before him is Vendivia herself, a high-floor manager with the appearance of an elegant but fierce dark elf. She surveys Jin Hyuk coolly. It's you, the infamous player that mid-floor managers complain about. Jin Hyuk nods, his expression unreadable. Using the item that Young gave me brought me here. She seems both curious and wary, her intense gaze scrutinizing him. She folds her arms. You're the first player to ever reach me, Vendivia, the high floor manager of the tower. I have no idea how you managed it, but congratulations. Now, why are you here? Meanwhile, back in Seoul, guilds are gathering in force. Teresa scans the massive crowds, her eyes catching sight of the veteran company members joining as well. With all of them here, 
We should be prepared for whatever monster appears, she says, sounding hopeful. Chun Yusung, however, looks at the briefing file Jin Hyu gave him and shakes his head. No, it's still not enough. Check the number of enemies and their power levels. Teresa flips through the file, her face turning pale. No, could it really be this bad, even with all the world's rankers here? Chun's tone is grim. We're just here to delay them. Our real goal is to buy time until Kong Jin Hyuk figures out how to defeat the enemy. Cutting back to Vindivia's domain, the tension between her and Jin Hyuk reaches a peak. She glares at him, her aura flaring, her voice icy. What did you just say to me? Are you seriously lecturing me, a high floor manager? Jin Hyuk remains unfazed, calmly revealing the indescribable flames item obtained from defeating Yaksha. Recognize this? He asks, holding the flame up to her. This flame is created when a creature from ancient times invades another floor. High floor managers are supposed to keep things like this under control. But one of your kind is clearly overstepping, don't you think? Vendivia's expression hardens as she realizes the significance. Esting, he's crossed a line, she murmurs. But this is something we can still contain. Her tone turns thoughtful as she regards Jin Hyuk, the gravity of her position weighing on her. She sighs. Yes, we've failed to properly maintain the balance within the Tower of Trials. But as high floor managers, we are prohibited from helping players directly. Jin Hyuk's tone grows sharp, then sit back and watch as the tower's balance shatters. Let chaos run wild and consume everything. Is that the role you play, high floor manager? Just then, Jin Hyuk receives a system notification, a faint smile tugging at his lips as he reads it. Vindivia takes a deep breath, seeming to reconsider. Let me repeat myself. I cannot help you directly. But there are ways I can assist you indirectly, in accordance with the tower's rules. A system message appears before Jin Hyuk. Special quest from high floor manager Vindivia has arrived. This is the end. Subscribe for the next part.